come up all the time and say you're gorgeous, you're beautiful, and I'll say, nah, you know. And the reason why you're saying nah is because you want to hear him say it again, you know, so. <laughs> I'm 31 years old. I'm 11 years happily married with four kids. I served four years in the United States Air Force. Played a little bit of college basketball. Was actually a Mormon priest for about five years. Worked Chippendales dancer for about a year. And now I'm a real estate agent in Las Vegas. Life's definitely easier for people that are good looking. People prove that already. It's easier to get jobs, you get prettier girls, you get more girls. People tend to want to open up more doors for you when you're good looking. I'm pretty much threatened by everybody. Every, everybody in this competition is. I'm threatened by everybody. And my strategy is just to stay focused and to roll with the punches. If I were to change anything about myself, I would uh, advance myself forward, learn new things, and you know, try to experience as many things as I could. My morning ritual is take a shower that lasts like 15 to 20 minutes, get out of the shower, go dry my hair, 35 to 45 minutes. How do you get your hair like that? I want to rock these straight guys out of their minds. They can bring their test toss around. They can bring their jockey football player wear. They can bring whatever they want to. I'm the gay guy. I have the fashion sense. I have what it takes, and I'm going to bring it to the table. Those girls don't believe that I'm a virgin. Being a virgin is definitely tenuous at some points in time. Um, for me, I believe that I'm supposed to be just with one person, and that's how God intended it. Uh, I just personally believe that's what he has for me. And Justin Timberlake and Usher Raymond are role models in certain aspects. But I would say that my biggest role model is uh, Jesus. I think I, a lot of people see me as, you know, a good old southern boy. I think the first impression that I give people is, an, is, a, is just honesty. They know that what they're seeing is what they're getting. I guess I'm still kind of uh, trying to learn the world of male modeling. Because, uh, yeah, I guess we do have to wear makeup some and have to try on a lot of clothes. Uh, sounds like stuff I guess women would be doing. I kind of had a crossroads right now where uh, I could either do modeling or I could go and do my physics and astrophysics and stuff. I'm very content with what I have, and that's the story of my life in the first place. You know, be content with what you have and you'll always be happy. So I'm a happy guy, but that doesn't mean I don't want to win. As a male model, you have to market yourself. You have to do certain things to get what you want. It doesn't mean that I'm going to go down on some guy because of it. I wish I was 6'2". I know I'm a little smaller, but I've, I've done everything in my power to get to the top of who I could possibly be. I've definitely been slacking on my exercise regime, and this isn't the time to be slacking on my exercise regime when you see all these ripped guys out there. I honestly feel that I'm my biggest competition. Like, if I just keep my head in the game and just do my best on the modeling shoot, hopefully I'll go far and that's the best I can do. Random people that don't even know me just will, you know, come up and stop and ask if I've done modeling or just like, you have amazing eyes, you have an awesome look. I'm not doing this to be famous. I'm doing it because it's a dream and a goal of mine, and I've made it this far, and I'm going to push it as far as I can because it's, you know, one step closer to what I love doing. When I get around people, that's when I'm the funniest. You think you're too cool for school. Well, I got news for you, Walter Cronkite. You're not. <laughs> I don't get embarrassed like things. If people make fun of me or laugh and say, that was the most stupidest thing I've ever seen in my life, that's me, and that's why I know I did it. I don't have no regrets. I want what's best for my girlfriend, Olivia, and my little baby boy, Keaton Duke. I hope to try to give them everything they want. I, I think that I, my little boy takes a lot of, of love that I should be giving to my girlfriend, but I think God throws challenges at you like this to see what kind of person you are. What I like about my body, basically, uh, the proportions are nice, I believe. 
Uh, I got the chest, got the shoulders. Abs are very washboard-ish. I'm gonna bust the male model myth by showing the world that you're allowed to be very decent or good looking, as well as very smart in the head. I'm just a normal person that just hangs out with their friends and has fun, but is serious at sometimes. It's crazy sometimes, annoying sometimes, many times. <laughs> I think I'm gonna do well. I had a psychic come up to me at the gym and they told me, I know what you're working on and you're gonna do really well. And so I have the words of a psychic on my side. <laughs> very competitive person. I've always been competitive. I ran track. I did football. You know, I love sports. I still keep up with sports. And I like to win in everything I do. But, you know, there's a lot of, a lot of good looking people here. So, I mean, it's gonna be tough. And, you know, hopefully my personality will shine through a little bit. I'm not the kind of guy that wakes up and I go look in the mirror and I'm like, oh, this is my life, my looks. Yeah, I'm not like that at all. I'm like just a normal college teenager waking up, going to school, doing my thing. I'm a Atlanta Braves bad boy slash clubhouse attendant right now. We're, uh, we're folding towels, we're washing dishes, stocking coolers. Um, we got a lot of responsibilities. Beautiful. Big smiles for the last one, everybody. Over the top. Hey, ready? One, two, and eight. Yeah, that's beautiful. We're all tired. We're ready to lay our heads down. We pull up to the standard hotel in downtown LA. It's a great place. It's like really sleek, modern. Looks good. This is how we should be treated. You know, we're nice models kind of things. So getting the star treatment, five star hotel. <laughs> I feel a lot like importance almost. Do you have more magic stuff? Yeah, yeah. Hey, who's sleeping on the big foot? You guys think this foot's bigger than mine? The hell is that doing, man? Coming up, a roadside elimination sends shockwaves through the group. There's no way these are the four guys that are going home. And the guys bear it all on their way to modeling glory. Coming in December to Bravo. 12 fashion designers. It's a designer eat designer competition. Who will make the cut? I, I call it a zoo. Each of us are different animals. Why would I play it safe? Do I look like a safe person? I came to New York to win. I enjoy being the best. I have no problem with stealing. I'm only worried about me. I just don't call it stealing. These people are crazy. Heidi Klum hosts Project Runway. Wednesday, December 1st at 10, 9 central. Only on Bravo. Oh, that's right. Oh, yeah, we look like an entourage, you know, just rolling up. What do you guys think we're going to do today? <laughs> okay, what's your guess? <laughs> you guys made sure to, you guys told to make sure you were in the way? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we drove for about, probably about 45 minutes, out to the middle of nowhere. Dude, so look, not. there's planes. Real skydiving? Please yeah, just go skydiving, all flying. I'm telling you, is it the airport? The yeah. planes, man. Those are little tiny old like lights, one, one for each of us. You're not scared that your uh, parachute won't open? No. Yeah. You never know. Maybe we're just gonna just like cruise around the sky and see the sights and stuff. <laughs> Whatever. Give us a pause while you fall and end up plummeting to your death. <laughs> <laughs> Show me blue steel. <laughs> Okay, you guys don't know me yet, but one of the parachutes are not is it going to open me. It's got to go in. The probability of it's probably not going to open. Hey, parachute, it's going to open. Oh, yeah. Okay, I see you guys. That's great. Wow. This really bad at like, He's showing us the runway walk. So we get out to the airport. We're huddled around. We see this guy walking. We're like, oh my god, who's Derek Zoolander over there? And we're gonna have a walk-off with him. <laughs> okay, gentlemen, listen up. My name is Bruce Hulse. I've been a successful working male model for the past 25 years. Bruce Weber found me on the beach in New Jersey when I was a lifeguard. Uh, about a month later, I'm in Greece, 
uh, shooting Calvin Klein with Andy McDowell, making a bunch of money and eating free food, and I'm thinking, thank you, God. I've worked all over the world. I've worked with every major designer. I've worked with all the top photographers, male models, female models of this era. I've been in every major editorial spread, including the cover of GQ. I've shot over 100 TV commercials. And probably most importantly, I've made a lot of cash. I've been in GQ, I've been all over the world, you know? I'm like, I've never seen you, man. We have a good group of guys here. However, only 16 of you guys are gonna be moving on. Four of you will be eliminated right now, and I'm gonna be taking that 16 into the next part of this competition. Oh, wow. Uh, in the male modeling world, sometimes jobs are overbooked. Uh, too many guys are there. You need 16 instead of 20. Uh, this was our situation, and four guys had to go home. Kevin Peek, uh, would you please step over here? I'm the first one to get called. I was like, are you kidding me? I'm going to get eliminated over some of these guys here? I definitely think Kevin Peek is one of the stronger guys by far. I really want to beat him just because of, uh, of his attitude. Casey Weeks, step over here, please. Kevin Osborne. John Stallings, please step over here. When he called the first four guys, I was like, there ain't no way. There's no way that these are the four guys that are going home. Gentlemen, you four are safe. And the rest of the names I call, you'll be safe also. Paulo. Please join the line. Tate. John Johnson. Step over here. Maurice. Please step down to the end of the line here. Jason. Again, at the end of the line here. OK, Matt. End of the line. Brett. Down here. Blake. Rob. Down at the end. Seth. Ron. They called me and I was like, I was shocked. Like, I was really going to ball, like, straight out cry, because I was really, really shocked. Okay, guys, listen up. I have one name left. Hunter. I was the 16th name called, and I mean, I was ready to piss all over myself. I was so nervous. I'm just so excited to be one of the 16. But those four guys, I mean, I feel like any one of them could say that I could have gone. Gentlemen, thank you very much, but for the purposes of this show, your services are no longer needed. I should be top five. I'm just being realistic. I'm not giving up modeling. I'm taking the industry by storm. I'm going big, just not here, obviously. There's guys that are out there that, I mean, they, they don't necessarily deserve to be here still. I mean, it, I'm not gonna name any names, but I mean, America can figure it out by themselves, you know? I mean, it's bull Your body and your mind is, is what you put into it. And a lot of those guys don't have I feel like I let a lot of people down, but I know I can go back to Arkansas with open arms. What got me eliminated would be uh, over Studley. I don't know. Maybe uh, yeah, it's too muscular. Maybe models are sucked up and, and twigs. I'm not a sucked up twig. I eat food. Congratulations. You are the top 16. Now I gotta jump on a plane. You're playing! <laughs> That's how happy I
guy right now. Hey, guys, get back in line. Gentlemen, obviously you figured out by now we're at a skydive facility, and we will be skydiving. We're going to be jumping with a professional instructor. This is called tandem jumping. And what we're going to learn here is about teamwork. As a male model, you'll be working with a team of people to get an image, a photograph that's going to sell a product. Uh, however, we're not going to be jumping the way you are now. We're going to be stripping down into your skivvy, so let's strip down right now. <laughs> Do it! Strip! Now! Still ahead, the guys leave their clothes and their dignity on the side of the road. Are you, dude? We gotta get you in shape. And later, the late night scandal that rocks the group. Girls! <laughs> the manhunt is always on at bravotv.com slash manhunt. Enjoy exclusive interviews, baby pictures, a manhunt screensaver, and of course, more guys in their underwear. It's one incredibly good looking website, bravotv.com slash manhunt. It's so funny because you get relieved that you're going on to the next level and you're feeling kind of comfortable. It's like, oh, well, you know, I forgot. They're about to hit me with some kind of competition, something. Do it. Strip. Now. Let's move it. Come on. lines everyone up in their underwear and starts going from from model to model and he's just annihilating people hunter okay in the underwear man you're a little skimpy for me got that european look going maybe you're hanging out in too many nudist colonies hey blake you gotta build a chest up got a little bit of a pear shape going there i don't have a pear shaped body I, I i don't know what that means john looking good there man you got a nice shape it looks like you're a surfer or swimmer underwear's a little raggedy man John, in that pair of underwear, you look like you're on St. Tropez Beach or something, man. But the body looks good, look fit. Casey, body, I don't know, man, it's a little bit out of proportion. Maurice, okay, you look like a wrestler. Look like good shape. Hey, Jason, arms a little bit big, out of proportion to the rest of the body. I like the baby blue underwear. You know, your mom probably bought them for you. <laughs> Brett, you look like a world-class triathlete. Good look. Apollo, great shape. A little bit too muscular up top, maybe. A little men's fitness I Think you could cut down a little bit. I'm, you know, at six foot one and a half, I'm 170 pounds now. And, you know, I, I don't have any high fashion designers whose clothes I can fit into. Uh, but I guess uh, this the illusion, maybe I just I look like I'm a little bit heavier than I really am. Hey, Kevin. Okay, you're looking good. A little bit too big up top. Maybe got to cut down on the weights a little bit. A little more swimming, a little more running. You gotta build legs up, man. You got the chicken legs. That's the obvious, because my legs are like ridiculously skinny, but hey, that's what I gotta do. Hey, Kevin. Okay, again, good shape, good all around shape. A little bit too big up top. You might have to slim down a little bit. A little more running, a little more swimming. Hey, Ron, good look. You look like a, uh, I don't know who you look like, <laughs> but it's a good look. It's very distinctive. Very thin boned. Maybe spread you out a little bit, open up uh, with the chest, some bench press. Now you, dude, we gotta get you in shape. You know, you got a great look, great face, but we gotta get you in the weight room or get you swimming. You know, you still got the baby fat on you. I got out there and got hammered about being, like, fat and not cut. <laughs> you know, I can laugh about it, but I was like, dang, that's gonna be on TV. Hey, Seth. Okay, looking good. You got the bow legs, just like me. That's what's up, man. That's, that's like, same thing. The body, we gotta build up a little bit. A little scrawny, but uh, looks good. Hunter, in the world of modeling, it's important to look good. That includes your underwear. We have the gold standard of underwear here. Calvin's, put them on. Ron, put them on. Seth, underwear. Rob, Brett, put them on. Matt, Gallo, good catch. Okay, get out of here. Okay, gentlemen, get ready to jump into modeling.
When they told us we were going skydiving, I was definitely pumped up. I love you. I'll never see you again. There you oh. go. And they jump out of a perfectly good plane. I am scared to jump out of a damn plane. Five minute call, shark 12. Let's start gearing up five minutes. I was like, there's no way I'm doing this, no way. But in the back of my head, I'm like, I'm gonna have to do this. I always wanted to do this, but I never thought I'd do it in just the KRC case. I always wanted to skydive, but I never thought I'd do it basically naked. Uh, I would prefer to have a woman strapped to my back as opposed to another guy. Taking in the scenery from that high up and everything, it was just breathtaking and like, it was awesome. The one thing that I'd probably be most embarrassed about is the fact that I was skydiving in my underwear with a guy strapped on my back. They're gonna be like, what the hell are you doing? <laughs> yeah, I'm thought going through my head was make it on the ground safely. It was part of the challenge, so I had to do it. I think the hair product manufacturer that Ron uses should offer him an endorsement because his hair didn't change positions through the whole scarf. I was completely scared. Like, I wasn't going to do it. Black people don't jump out of planes. <laughs> but uh, I did it. The biggest rush I've ever had in my life. Woo! Hell yeah! I had some trouble with the harness on my family jewels. It was uh, a little bit uncomfortable. I got a monster wedgie, but it's not. The underwear survived! <laughs> You have not lived until you skydive. <laughs> I was scared. <laughs> <sighs> Holy dude, that was awesome. Nice. Whoa. That was crazy. Casey couldn't was... feel his arms. His arms yeah, went numb. this morning. Dude, I'm gonna pass out. I'm He's like, pass out. Uh, I can't feel my hands. At that point, well, we were the last ones to go, and I was sitting there going, no, I don't want to go. I I'm scared I'm, I'm super scared. He's like, are you ready? He's like, no, I'm not I'm not ready yet. Just leave me alone. Let me let me just let me just catch myself. I remember just falling and I just felt like my body just left me. I, I was I don't, I don't know where I was, I don't know where I was at at that point. I mean, I was screaming to the top of my lungs. I was just holding on to dear life. I, I mean, I seriously thought I was gonna die. the scariest thing I've ever done in my life. I'm so glad to be on the ground. I never, I mean, I think I would do it again, but not for a long time. I felt like I was just completely reborn. I conquered something that I never thought that I was gonna do. You did it, man. No, man, I'm so happy. I'm so happy I did it. Guys, bring it in, good job. One, two, three, go. Told the lineup again. I mean, we were in boot camp. Felt like I was back in the military a little bit. <laughs> okay.
Okay, gentlemen, did a good job up there in the air, and I hope you've learned a valuable lesson that's going to serve you very well in the male modeling business. And if you're not a team player, you're going to get bounced out of this business very quick. So right now, I just want to take you guys for some preliminary exercises. Everybody can do some isometrics. You can pull. This is something you can do if you're shooting an underwear shot. You can push. You can squeeze your arms. Okay, you can squat. You guys, have, a lot of you guys have the skinny legs. This will help pump them up a little bit. Okay, stand up. There's a few things you need to know to get your picture taken, and I want you to circle up, and I'm going to give you a few tips. We're going to go through an array of looks, okay? Give me your best shot. Hunter, give me seductive. Huh? Doesn't look too seductive to me. Okay, Jason. Give me, you just won the lottery, a million bucks, but just from the inside, okay? Look like a car's about to run over you, dude. Kevin, uh, your dog just died. You got any feelings in there? Don't see my dog? eyes teary, man. Come on now. Okay, Blake, <laughs> dog died. There, Blake? Is this night, night of the Living Dead? <laughs> what I learned from Bruce is that if I become successful, I don't want to be a cock asshole. Seth, give me a little flirtatious. You like the cameraman over here? Tate, give me heroic. That's it? Yep. That's it. <laughs> John? Okay, give me. You've been out in an all night binge, partying all night. Give me a little druggy, okay? Too druggy. <laughs> okay, that's good, man. Good look. Got beautiful eyes. Great eyes. Did you guys all hear that? You know, I have amazing eyes. Kevin, give me sexy. <laughs> Looks like Lurch going after, uh, you know, some monster in the uh, swamp. Red. Um, seen Zoolander? I have. Give me Blue Steel. That's your look. Uh, that works. <laughs> John, okay, uh, just caught the wave of your life. You're standing on the beach. You're stoked. Give it to me. That works, that works. A little silly. Ron, blue steel. <laughs> okay, way to go, guys. I'm happy to inform you that you've all graduated from model boot camp. For your efforts, we're going to give you a model kit bag. Inside of this bag, we have everything you need for a model shoot, including Ray-Ban sunglasses, Calvin Klein t-shirt, hair for men, and MAC makeup, and Matrix hair care products. So enjoy. Again, excellent job today, guys. And enjoy your bag. A lot of stuff. Oh, yeah. All right, sir. sir. You're good. Up next, a shopping trip pits man against man. I think people learned something about Kevin's character today. Wake up. And a scandal could send two men home early. His girlfriend in the bathtub. Being a male model takes confidence. Something Brian Bernie isn't running out of anytime soon. Something I'd like to change about myself? That's probably one of the toughest questions I've been asked because uh, I try to keep everything pretty nice. Uh, you might have stumped me. For more footage you didn't see on the show, including Brian fielding more tough interview questions, go to bravotv.com slash manhunt. Manhunt is brought to you by Levi's Jeans, a style for every story. What is it? Let's check that out. Let's see what's up. The standard. It says, yesterday you dressed down, tonight you're dressed up. It's time for a night out. Be in the lobby at 2 p.m. Dress comfortably. Oh, we're going shopping, baby. Hell yeah. Get ready. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> That's what they do. Giddy up. And we got three smooth skinny gears and powder who's like a beast. I'm not a beast. <laughs> you're a beast, though. You? I got one. <laughs> yeah, I know you're all dressed up, huh? Welcome, welcome. Come on in. How you guys doing? Good. My name is Tom Gerald. I'm the creative director here. 
and I understand you're here for a uh, little fun shopping. So um, I've got our star PR girl here, Ali Smith, boys. who's going to help you uh, pick out outfits oh and everything. God. Let me take a look at all you. you <laughs> Damn. Woo! So we're going to go shopping and take care of uh, you guys. We walk in, and the whole store is just laid out for us. And I'm like, this is cool. When we go to Armani Exchange, I felt like a little child when we were told, take anything you want. Why don't you try this on for me, and I'll let you know if it looks good or not. Well, You're not listening to me. I'm lost. Guys, we have a half an hour. we got to hurry up. I would love it if we could just all be and work together and help each other out, because I help my roommates out. Like, Jason doesn't have fashion sense, so I'm helping him out. I got dressed in, like, 2.5 seconds. I mean, I could just let him walk out there in his cowboy outfit and looking like a bonehead, but, I mean, I dress him. I pop his collar, and, and so it's like I help my friends and I help my comrades, even though they are my competition. Do you have jeans that aren't going to be... Turn around. Probably need a little bit looser, right? That's a nice ass. So while we were shopping at our money exchange, Whatever. I noticed um, two girls, like, very catty and just kind of like, eh, eh, very L.A. with the big boobs and blonde and stuff like that, doing their thing. And they were just like, eh, y'all are cute. Who are you? And I was like, whatever, get out of my face. Like, I'm here to shop. <laughs> All right. I like, I like that feeling. Are they nice? Turn around. That's too bad. You're not tight enough. That's the problem. No, that's really good. Don't be good. Are they, are they a little, they're, they're, they're a little too perfect. They're a little too perfect. I'm like a kid in the candy store right now. I think I'm going to be eating all the candy. And she's going to help. Hey, whoa. No, no, a little privacy here. Come on, buddy. You're going to come out to the hotel and hang out with us? Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. That's where I'm invited. Oh, you're definitely All you guys invited. are staying there? I think we're going to be at the pool hanging out, having some drinks. Okay. So definitely, we'll get together tonight. Definitely get together. You're in a loose-fitted shirt. You don't need a belt. Once you back off, then let me take a look. I feel like these pants are too low. That's what I'm saying. It's a crotch for you. Stop and let me take a look. You're going to come out to the hotel and hang out? That's where our light is. Right. Got the right size now. You really want to wear that blazer? Yeah. yeah. Are you sure yeah. about that? Yeah. Boys, I'm not going to fight you on it. If you want to roll out like that, that's fine by me. That's okay. really, I can't handle it. We don't need to put down here. Well, if I can rock some gems, I'll be uh, The matching blazer twins. Okay, how good is that? <laughs> you can't do the sunglasses. The glasses, hey, glasses take his glasses. Take them, take them. You got to take, 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 take his. Nope. You got to take his. Yeah, she took mine. She took mine. Give me the glasses. Give me the glasses. <laughs> you can't wear the sunglasses because you can't wear sunglasses at night. You're not that famous. Armani Exchange has given us his outfit, and Kevin Peake decided that he wanted more clothes than his outfit that they had already said that he could have. Show me what you got. Well, on, I told you we have the contemporary cargo pants. So he goes back, then he's trying to get more stuff. It's just like, enough's enough. He got his $600 worth of merchandise, and it wasn't just one outfit. It was, you know, two or three different outfits, however many he wanted. I asked for the free clothes because, I mean, they want us to wear their clothes. We're like a walking billboard for them. I think people learned something about Kevin's character today. If he's doing a fashion show, the people, and he's modeling $5,000 suits. They don't need to have to check the wrap to make sure that they're still there when the show's over. I think that people definitely changed their opinion about him today. Okay, guys, I'm going to need you in your final looks, please, so I can take one last critique of you. If you guys can come out, step out of the dressing room. Whoa! Step out of the dressing room area and come out here. <laughs> there you go. I'll be back in a little bit. Just hang out. Don't worry. I, I keep them in there. You, know. you guys look fantastic. You are representing the Armani brand because you're going to be wearing our clothes. Well, modeling's like about a, a confidence and owning your look and um, relaxing, being yourself. So And having a great time. Absolutely. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. There are those girls. This girl just finally just stopped talking, are. and she's like, Blake, what do there you think you should go in? Guys, see you later tonight! Oh, oh no, no, oh, no, damn it, we oh, almost made it with that scene. No. Oh, oh, man. man. Yeah, Kevin Pink's was keep pimping in there, man. Yeah, he did say he got that girl. I was really surprised to hear it. We gotta be like, listen, you're freaking both ugly. Get away from us. <laughs> yeah. We want nothing to do with you. <laughs> You can shake your boobs in my face. Yeah. You, the, with the big boobs, you can stay. The girl who looks like she got hit in the face and raised the blade, you're gone. Are we seeing them tonight? Yeah, yeah they're, they're going to come and party. They're, they're actually, like, yeah, they said they're, they're going to call some friends. Dude, them girls are going to be at our hotel. Be good we get there. I'm going to talk to the front desk and not let them in. Later. Alcohol.
beautiful girls and an early alliance spelled trouble for everyone. Who's in here? Nobody. Two men will face the consequences. We get to have a party upstairs. You no, know, we just need a couple of cigars and we'll do it up right. We'll do it up right. This right here is a pool. We can fit what? Ten girls in there? At least. At least. At least. We like them petite. So the temptations of beautiful women are really gonna be just another test in life that I have to, you know, pass. I'm definitely faithful. I'm living with my girlfriend now for the last three and a half years. She trusts me and don't trust me at the same time. Let's do it. Let's do it. Really pissed me off a lot that Hunter and I couldn't get up up on the roof to actually have a celebration, and it was bullshit. I need a drink. I've always respected the rules of others. I'm not going to try to force myself up there. I don't know if this is elimination or not. You're sitting at home. I'd like to know a little bit of information. I thought it was elimination right there. I just wanted to relax, socialize, have fun with the guys, uh, get to hang out, meet some of the girls that are up there, you know, have some fun. I'll be back at 7.30 o'clock for more photo shoot, and I'll tell you right now, I'll be looking better than those guys. They'll be drunk over. I'll be ready for it. Some of the girls that I saw at the Armada Exchange, they showed up. I don't know if they followed us. I don't know if we uh, kind of incited them to come along with us. advantage of the situation and after they got from the roof they took it down to another level when they went back to their rooms and not just ordering the drinks but having girls back to their room after we were told we had a certain time that we need to go to bed hey, hey, hey. this is what happens when you put everybody in the tweets they just tweezy me there were a lot of nicknames and stuff going on they had a room 1112 with 11 tweezy i don't know i'm about to take that stick up his what you think about hey, we're not sleeping in. Tell me what you think about the block. When it's Kevin Peake, Kevin Osborne, and Tate together, it's like three triangle badasses, and it's just, it's, it's not cool. We figured, you know, last resort at the end of the night, if there's not any hot chicks or whatever, you know. I mean, they weren't all that great looking, but they were there, right? Whoa, this is, this is, uh, it's, uh, what, what, what's this? Uh, uh, here. Those guys need to realize that what they do is negatively affecting the people that are sacrificing a month of their lives to be on this show. Party's over, babe. Bye, girls. Thank you for coming. Thank you for having us. Um. Okay, let's open up the doors. Let's get up, guys. Turn on the lights. Get the lights on. Get the lights on right now. Come on, out of bed. All of a sudden, I'm getting woken up by my roommates. I hear Bruce yelling at me, put on your Armani exchange clothes. We're going up to a shoot with Marissa Miller. And you're like, your Armani clothes. that's pretty hot. She's a Sports Illustrated model. That's tight. How's that? Come on. Woo! Now lights on. You got two minutes. You're on the clock. We can't keep the girl model waiting. Let's wake up. Come on. How's that? When Bruce came in, I just heard screaming, get your own money clothes. Let's move it. Let's go. The last thing I remember was everybody was out the room. I haven't been awake for a whole five seconds. <laughs> I walked around into the bathroom, and there were two girls just looking up at me like, please go away. I told you guys yesterday, being a model means being prepared. 
and two minutes on the roof. If you're not out of bed, dude, you ain't in this contest. Let's go. Come on. <laughs> Girls. <laughs> you can come too. I was, I was just like, what is going on? Took a look over into our bathroom area and saw somebody in the bathtub, and that was a little freaky. His girlfriend in the bathtub. We have no idea what went on, but the girls were in the room past hours. And the beds were not in their normal position. The guys knew they had a 1 a.m. curfew. They weren't supposed to sneak any girls in after that. Boys will be boys. And they did find a way to sneak those girls in. Who's in here? Nobody. If you're in there, you got exactly 10 seconds to go, OK? They don't want to shoot, they don't want to shoot. Give me a rope and I'll come out. Next week on Manhunt, the search for America's most gorgeous male model. The men cope with a scandal that could bring down the whole competition. What they did can basically shut this entire show down. Which contestants are hiding in the bathroom? And what consequences will they face when they come out? I have a problem with it personally. We'll find out when our guys gather on the rooftop of the Standard Hotel for their first photo shoot. They pose with supermodel Marissa Miller, who gives them a lesson in modeling manners. He needs to find that professional side of him. Later, the men come together to break up an unholy alliance, and one contestant becomes the center of the storm. I think he was thinking with his penis. Anger and bad feelings linger until the final moments when host Carmen Electra tells someone... That was your last shot. In the coming weeks, the men find out that modeling is not as easy as it looks. Tension and tears run high as the men are sent home one by one. Who stays? Who goes? And who is hiding the biggest secret of all? Our guys don't know it, but there is an enemy in their midst. A real working model who is pretending to be a contestant, but is really spying on their every move. Next week, you'll learn the identity of this embedded model. And you'll see how his top secret reports to the judges impact the other men's fates. How will the other contestants react when they learn his secret? And... Who will win a six-figure modeling contract from IMG and wear the crown of America's most gorgeous male model? The 10th anniversary season of Inside the Actors Studio is a perfect 10 with all new episodes. Sunday at 8, 7 central, the elusive James Gandolfini. Late at night, sometimes I get a little frustrated and I do a little dance. Well, what kind of a dance is it? One you're not going to see, my friend. All new Inside the Actors Studio, Sunday at 8, 7 central, only on Bravo.